Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about when you have a project that might be multiple layers, like this family sign, where you have a frame, a backer board, the word family, and then something else that's going to go on the top of this word family, and all of them are going to be different colors. It's hard to determine what your design really looks like when you go into the preview window and it's all black and white. Today I'm going to show you another method in where you can go ahead and color your designs uh, before you even preview them, uh, especially if you're planning on doing a lot of painting or the, the different layers or different colors. This method works great. So let's check it out. Okay, so let me show you what we've got going here today. I'll give you this layout and what we're going to do, and then I'll show you a couple of tricks that I use all the time that helps me with visualizing my layouts. This is a four layer sign. And what I mean by that is there is a backer board that's just a rectangular shaped piece of eighth inch plywood or Baltic birch that's going to, going to be on the back of the, on the back side of this frame. And so if, if we look at all of our layers, you notice that I have all of these modes to line because all of these individual pieces we're going to cut out except for is the greatest adventure. That's going to be engraved on top of the blue layer that's going to be cut out. So let's just go through this right quick just so you have a, an idea on this design and where we're headed with this. So if I, if I preview this, you can see that we're just cutting out a basic rectangle. Okay, nothing special. We're just going to cut out a basic rectangle on that. If we move over to the frame, going to do the same thing. We're going to cut out a frame out of 3 8 inch Baltic birch. And we're going to do, do an outs, inside cut and an outside cut. And when it's all done and over with, we're going to have a frame that we're going to paint blue. Then we come down here to family. Got to cut the word out uh, for family. And as you can see, it's right now it's just going to cut out the word family. Now, because there's some spaces in here, I could either uh, move these letters together and weld them all together. And that way, this would be all one piece to glue on the top of that backer board. But I'm going to do something a little different. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and um, superimpose this design in the middle of this family and then join these letters together. And that way, uh, number one, this family uh, letters will be all together and it'll be very easy to line up is the greatest adventure. Okay, so in how to get this done is we're going to just drag this grouped design over here in the middle and it'll snap to the middle of the word family. And I'm going to ungroup it right quick and I'm going to grab this outline and I'm going to offset it just ever so slightly. I'm going to say OK. Then you notice that the outline, the offset, is already selected. And I'm going to go ahead and select the family name. And then I'm going to come over here to weld all selected shapes together. Now what that's, what that's done is that's welded the family name all together. OK, so now that I've got the family name welted together. It's basically uh, providing an outline. So when I cut this is the greatest adventure out after it's engraved, it's going to be real easy to line it up on this word family. And so the way this sign goes together is if I would take the word family and put it in and it'll snap to the middle here. And if I put is the gr greatest adventure and I snap that into the center, my sign is put together, but I really don't get a sense of how it looks, um, primarily because this sign is all built up of just lines, uh, and I really don't know how it's going to look. If right now, if I go in and I preview it, um, it really doesn't give me much more than what I've already got. So now what I have to do is I have to start changing these modes to fill but the problem that you get into when you're in the preview menu is if it's not all the same color or if you don't have the sequence of, of lines, uh, it's not going to look like what you want it to look like. Here's a quicker way to do that. 
here's another way to look at this design that might help you out if you're doing several layers in your design and they're going to be colored, painted, whatever. Um, this really helps me visualize my design a little bit better. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change all of these to fill. Now this is not what you're going to want to do when you go to the laser to cut all this stuff out. This is strictly to visualize your design. So just please understand this. You're going to have to change this back to line when you go to the letter and cut this sign out. But look what happens. If I come up here to Window and come down here to Filled, Coarse or Smooth, uh, Filled Smooth is a little clearer. If I turn that on, look what happens. Now, the backer is the color of the layer. The frame is the color of the layer. I can come in here and <clears throat> move my family in place. It snaps in. And now you have the ability to visualize your design in a little bit more detail. You can change the colors by just changing the layer color, but it does uh, give you the ability to use color on your designs. You'll also notice that um, it will depend on where you are in your layer stack. So for some reason, this word uh, is the greatest adventure, which is in black. If I select that and I move it up in the stack, you can see that it disappears and then it uh, uh, shows up. If I click on the backer board and I move it forward, you can see that now it acts just like Photoshop or many of the other photo editors that your layer stack is determined on how your colors show up. And this is going to be really helpful to you. The shortcut key for this is Shift-Alt-W. I can turn it off. Shift-Alt-W, turn it back on. Great little feature if you know where it is and how to use it. Um, all, just remember, you have to turn these back to line if you would want to cut all these out on your laser. But just thought it might be helpful to you to design some of the designs that you might have that are multi-layered uh, or you just need to have a little bit more uh, detail. Hope this was helpful. You guys, as always, like, subscribe. Have a great day.